Hey, hey, got a quick word for you today. Uh, I was in service on Sunday and the prophetess Runette C. Jones, she spoke a word um, saying that God was going to comfort his people. Now, this is a year where my assignment has been, you know, to champion uh, kingdom marriages as well as kingdom families, kingdom children that are going to come from these unions coming together because that is definitely absolutely on the heart and mind of our Father and our God. And so with that, of course, the Lord began to speak to me concerning the comfort that is going to come for these unions and that he's bringing together. Now, there are those of you, it's going to be for, you know, new marriages. These are going to be also found in those who are getting remarried. Some of you are going to find comfort after significant loss. Maybe you're a widow. Maybe there are, you know, it feels like a death literally because you've experienced divorce for some. Um, and so this is also going to bring comfort to the family at large. This is going to bring comfort to children as well you know who have been um who have dealt with these losses that have been experienced also and so this is going to bring healing and comfort to blended families and all of those things and so i want you every prophetic word that you receive to go to god with it it should be the conversation starter not oh that's the end and we click on to the next video. But let's go to the Lord with the words that we receive in Jesus' name. Confirm whether or not it be for us. And if this be our timing for this word. And I believe that God comforting his people. He led me in this 2024 to Genesis chapter number 24. And it says this in verse number 66. That after the servant told Isaac the whole story of the trip. Some of y'all, y'all got some stories to tell. I mean, you got some past. I mean, it, life been life in. It says, Isaac took Rebekah into the tent of his mother, Sarah. He married Rebekah. He didn't just take her in. This is not the time where we find comfort just in the arms of another that is not our spouse. He married her. This is not situationships and nothing like that, but this is God-ordained marriage that I'm speaking of. And it says, and she became his wife and he loved her. God is bringing those together where they are going to love one another. This will not be loveless unions. This is not going to be, you know, though God is in the pre-arranging business, like you the best matchmaker there is. Um, at the same time, it's not going to be based off of an arrangement. It's going to be based off of covenant and not just contract. Come on, somebody. It says, and he loved her. There was love there. And then so Isaac found comfort after his mother's death. Again, the unions that God is bringing together, you are going to be able to find comfort of those things. This was dealing with his mother. So this is going to be things that are going back to your childhood, different traumas, traumatic things, grievous things, losses that you have had. God is going to cause these unions as they come together to bring healing to you and another degree of wholeness. There's so much healing that we can walk out independently, but there's another degree that comes as these unions take place. If this is what you're called to and in that timing that God has it for you in the name of Jesus. And some of you, it's going to bring comfort even to things that your parents suffered and or endured in the name of the Lord. And so be it unto you in Jesus name. The other thing that I found that was extremely extremely significant about this. It says, so Isaac found comfort after his mother's death from his wife, after taking his wife in unto himself. And so it made me consider that a wife is considered to be the help me, which is likened unto the Holy Spirit, which is our helper, right? One of the other characteristics of the Holy Spirit, one of his name, he's called the comforter. Jesus said, I have to go. So the, the comforter will come. And so in the same vein, here we find the wife. And so I'm putting it out there that God is looking to raise up these women of God, that you are ready, prepared to allow to, your first example, the Holy Spirit, to allow you to also flow in in that space of being able to bring comfort to others. While life has had you do hard things, may you still be able to provide a soft space and a safe place in Jesus' name because that in turn is not going to leave you without. You're also going to be loved like you've never been loved before. So don't be afraid to embrace it. Don't be afraid to take them in as your wife. <laughs> I'm going to speak to the brethren there. That was what the angel of the Lord told Joseph, and I believe that the angel of the Lord may be speaking to several of you. Don't be afraid to take them in. Be ready to receive all that God is going to bring through these unions. God is bringing comfort through God-ordained marriages. Be it unto you in Jesus' name.